I started in 04 in this organization, Yachty's first year. And um, clearly wasn't watching the playoffs. And, um, you know, I just always appreciated how he competes and how he plays. And then you watch, and Tony told me this, I didn't, I didn't necessarily need it, but the confirmation of just how special he is. Um, and I won't share the, the specific quote or comments, but um, he's like, man, it only, he only swells up when, the, when it matters the most. You know, what a special trait. You know, we do that with, with Carlos as well. But um, he does smell. It's what this guy lives for. You know, this is exactly what Yadier Molina lives for. It's what he trains for. Um, you know, clearly he's going to have a lot of personal accomplishments, rightfully so. I'm sure they mean something to him. Yadier Molina is about winning and winning championships, period. Special. More. Just a little more on Yadier. His... Um Style kind of stand, stands out a little bit in the game now. You see a lot of all or not, nothing type guys. He's a contact hitter, yep. and he's sort of built for the, those exact two situations that we saw. We saw, I would think. Yeah, that's a great point. It really is. It it, it is, and um, you know that's why I love hitting him fifth. Um, you know, we hit him a little bit second last year, fifth or sixth. I think it's a, just a great spot for him because there's so many different situations that come into play in that spot in the order. And to your point, you know, he needs to just put a ball in the right field, he can do it. He needs to work on, you know, getting the ball in the air, he can do it. I mean, I literally saw him, we had a first and third to situation. And, and still, you know, I'll, I'll tell, um, you know, people when I'm 80 and drooling, but hopefully not. Um, but the most impressive thing I've ever seen almost on a field, a couple of them are by Yachty. But this one in particular was amazing to me. We had first and third. And, um, you know, we went to hit and run, one out, similar to the night. And um, we hit and run, big time ground ball guy. And the runner first missed the sign, so he doesn't run. So Yachty, as the ball's coming, major league pitcher, recognizes that the guy, and he starts to kind of make sure, you know, he's getting on top. Guy doesn't run, mid flight, changes his approach, and hits a fly ball in the middle of a pitch that takes, you know, four hundredths of a second to get home. And after the game, I was like, did you, did you really change your swing? He goes, yeah, the guy wasn't running, so I need to get a ball in the air for a sack fly. That's what, he's a, he's a pretty amazing individual. Yeah. I mean, I think the thing with, with Yachty, he works on everything. I mean, we all do, we talk about it, but he has that skill set, you know, he's hit in all parts of the order. Um, I mean, we all want to move a runner, you know, in that situation, get a ball in the air, but he just, you know, finds a way to do it. And that's what makes him one of the greatest of all time. But it's not an accident. He's working on it in the cage. He works on moving runner. He works on getting the ball in the air, works on hit and run, which he's done. Any situation, he's always working on different situations. And, you know, that's what makes him so good at that. And any other skill, I'm sure, like catching, he's working on different things there. So uh, that would just be the point I make is it's not an accident you know, the success that he has. Um, he works really hard at it. And it, it doesn't go unnoticed and it's impressive.